So what I want to bring today is the Nintendo Switch. This is the memory, 128 gigabytes. It's fast. I recommend to use this for There's all the type of memory you can use, but I prefer to use this for my Switch. So if you're looking to download games, if you're looking to download data, install game digital codes, I do recommend to use, you know, at least to start 128. There are other, other sizes as well too, but I think 128 key with the basics to start. And if you want to play any game and you want to be downloaded stuff from the eShop, why right? order if you get a, a gift card, right? It's most of the time a downloadable version. So sure, you have a lot of space in your Switch, but maybe you want to leave that there. I don't want to install nothing here. First, I want to fill the card. When the card is full, maybe I start installing the right in my switch, right? I have 30, 30 gigabytes, but here's 128. So you can get up to 30 plus 128. And a lot of space to install a lot of things here, okay? So let's check. Let's have it uh, open this up. And we're going to install this right away in my switch, right? Now, if you have 128 and the memory, if you just went and downloaded that again, so the memory gets full, that's okay. Because in reality, you can grab another one, right, and use the next one. The only thing when you're going to be playing that game, you have to make sure you bring that memory back again. You're not going to lose the game, all right? And now, I'll allow you to install games or all the type of data right over here. So this is the one tune here. Now, micro SD. Okay, right there. Okay, let's install it right in my switch. All right, so it goes right here. You can open the little leg here and that's installed there. This is 128. Okay, press it down and done. At this point, the only thing you need to do when you turn it on, you will have to configure your switch, right? In such way how you want it. That you want the games, right? You want the games to be installed first into your switch and then into there. I think my recommendation is install first into the memory because when your switch is full, it's full. And if you want to space to updates, right? You want to space for update, for anything else, for the operating system, they need some type of memory free. I want to make sure there's free things here so we can work easy. So that's why I prefer for me, install all the games right over here. If that gets full, then I can move to that one there. And then that one is full, then maybe upgrade to the next one or um, get another memory of that. But in my case, the way I set up my Switch is all the games automatically, it will just go into the my memory. When that gets full, then I guess I will choose my, my Switch. It, it, I didn't install anything. This is whatever it is for Windows. It's still, I mean for Windows. It's still for the Switch operating system. Whatever it downloads is to there. So it's still 30 gigabytes, a lot of free space to do whatever needs to be done. When the memory is full, and that only happens if you're going to be downloading um, and the digital code. So I do recommend to get that. Even even if it has a lot of space free here, and at least get the basic. I think the basic is 128. I recommend that, you know, because it has a good price and, and plus it's a good way to be able to, you know, extend or install more games into the Switch by, you know, simple install memory. In this case, the 128 gigabyte.